they say Dick Johnson fans are the most loyal in Australia. Well, here's a demonstration. We're in the last minutes of Saturday night. And look at the crowd behind me on this cold Saturday. What are they watching? Well, they're watching an effort which, if it succeeds, will be one of the miracles of Mount Panorama. Dick Johnson's crew are trying to rebuild car 9 into car 17. Let me now talk to the man in charge of preparation, George Shepard. Can you do it, George? Oh, we'll give it a big shot, Evan. How many hours work in all to do what we're doing? Right the way up to the start line, I reckon. Yeah. What, uh, what are the hardest things? Well, the hardest thing is that you just, uh, you're trying to do t so many things in such a small area with so many people, I suppose. Um, but uh, you're taking a motor car and we're trying to introduce into it all the development that we've found in our car over a whole year, in Dick's car, um, into a car that's a year old and hasn't had any development since. Uh, it's now around midnight, it's getting colder, and Dick Johnson has turned up. Dick, you must be moved by all this. The fans out there, the fans in here. Evan, that's Bathurst, I think. And I think that's the dedication that we have in all the guys who work for us. It's just it's such a great bunch of guys. Are they going to finish? Mate, they'll work until they drop. That's how they go. They'll, they'll finish the car in some sort of order, and hopefully it'll be uh, good enough to do the job tomorrow. Are you going to bed? Oh, we'll get to bed sooner or later. You're not going to have the chance to drive this car before the flag drops. What sort of chance does that give you? Well, we'll just hope the, that the guys get everything, you know, in the right shape when they put it in the car because uh, you only get one shot and they know what it's like getting one shot, so I'm sure that they'll do the right thing. Across the top of Mount Panorama, the fans wait to see what sort of a shot Dick Johnson can give it in today's great race. The build-up continues when we return to Mount Panorama around the circuit and the spectators up on top of the mountain giving him such a tremendous cheer. This will be a corner that Dick might treat just a little bit gingerly today. This is where he had the problem yesterday. Hit those tyres the back of the car, got into the wall but Dick Johnson has made the starting grid for the 1983 James Hardy 1000 and that's the only practice he's going to be able to get in the car before the start of the race today. And uh, when Johnson pulled out onto the racetrack he got an absolute hero's reception as he came onto the circuit and took up uh, the run to the top of the mountain I think everyone across Australia and certainly all our Queensland viewers watching today our telecast of the James Hardy are pleased to see this man in the field for the 1983 race he's coming up now behind the cars you will probably get an idea now of just how far back the field goes to position number 58 they in fact uh, start on Conrod Strait and the big problem for Dick Johnson now is to make sure he doesn't run over any foreign objects anything in the grass there that might puncture a tyre before the start of the race. After all the work they've been able to put into the car, it, uh, that would be unforgivable. And still the crowd erupts as Johnson goes back in to the pit area, probably for a last-minute adjustment. We'll take a break now and then return for the start of the great race.